Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a different, well it's not really a different type of video, but I haven't seen a video done like this by anybody and I thought it would be a really cool video to do. But I'm going to be showing you guys today my top or my favorite makeup products from Maybelline. Maybelline is one of my favorite drugstore makeup brands and I have a lot of Maybelline products so I thought I would share with you guys today what my top favorite Maybelline products are. I love the Maybelline color tattoos. Like they are long wearing. Once you put them on your eyelids they don't go anywhere. Maybelline has some really great colors in the Maybelline color tattoos and I just love them. I love all the permanent ones and I have several limited edition ones that I really really love as well. But I just wanted to show you today like my top five favorite ones from the permanent collection. And first off I like inked and pink. Like I said, it's the one I have on today. It's just a gorgeous light metallic pink and I really, really like this color. It's so girly and so feminine. Another one of my favorites, of course, is Bad to the Bronze. This is like a cult favorite here on YouTube. So many bo beauty booty. <laughs> so many booty gurus. <laughs> so many beauty gurus or YouTubers love this Maybelline color tattoo. It's just one of those colors that you could just throw on your lids real quick be out the door and it just adds a little bit of color to your eyelids, a little bit of shimmer. It's a nice like light taupey brown and I absolutely love this one. And I think it was like the first Maybelline color tattoo I ever purchased. So this started my love for all the Maybelline color tattoos. The next three that are big favorites of mine, the one in Toughest Taupe, I love this one. This is a matte one and it's just a beautiful like taupe color. And it's just so, so pretty. The last two, I love Bold Gold and Pomegranate Punk. Um, any, like, color tattoo, like, eyeshadow tutorial that I have, I will link down in the description bar if you guys are interested in those. Then, I would say some of my next all-time favorite products from Maybelline are their Color Sensational lipsticks. I seriously want to own, like, every single color that they make. And maybe I will eventually, but... I don't quite yet, but some of my all-time favorites. I love the Color Vivids. Um, I have a video on the Maybelline Color Vivids where I show every single one in this collection swatched on my lips. So I'll link that video down below for you all. But my three top favorites from the Maybelline Color Vivids. I love the color Pink Pop. It's just a beautiful light, but at the same time bright pink. Um, it's a little similar to MAC St. Germain, I think. Um, this is just a little different in color. This is St. Germain right here, and then this is Pink Pop. So they are really close in color. It's just that St. Germain is a little lighter, Pink Pop's a little darker. So if you do like MAC St. Germain, but maybe it's a little too light for you, I would say try Pink Pop because it is really pretty. I absolutely love Electric Orange. Ugh, Electric Orange is so beautiful. It's the perfect just orange color for your lips. So if you love orange lipsticks, I do highly recommend Electric Orange. One of my all-time favorites from the Color Vivids. And then my last like top color from the Color Vivids is Brazen Berry. And it's a beautiful purple. Um, if you really want a strong purple lip, but at the same time is wearable, because this purple has a little bit of pinky kind of undertones in it. It's a little warm. So if a lot of like cool tone purples don't really work for you, I do recommend this one. Some of my other Maybelline Color Sensational favorites. I love this color. It's in 440. It's called Mauve It Up. And this is in their permanent just, I guess kind of like mauves or plum lipstick line that they have. And it's another really pretty purple color. This color is absolutely beautiful in the fall time. Like, I can't even express to you guys how pretty this color is. It's just such a beautiful mauve purple. And it's another one of those purples that's kind of warm. It has a little bit of a, sh like, shimmer in it. I don't know if you can see. It's almost like a blue kind of glitters. Once it's on your lip, you don't really notice the glitters. It just adds a little bit of shine and dimension to the lipstick. So yeah, that's one of my all-time favorites. And then I really like their nude lipsticks that they just came out with this year. My two favorites from that line is Blushing Beige and Cinnamon. Cinnamon. And Blushing Beige is... 
it's more of like a brown nude, but it is a little more pink than some of the other nude colors that they had in that collection. And then Cinnamon is just like a really brown nude. Um, so yeah, both of these are really pretty. I really like both of these nudes. I really feel like Cinnamon is a really unique um, nude because it is more brown, but it is really pretty and wearable. So like if a lot of nudes wash you out, I do recommend I do recommend Cinnamon because it is a little darker. And then Blushing Beige is this one that's the one closest to my bracelet. Then another lipstick line for Maybelline that I really like is their Superstay 14 Hour Lipsticks. And I have two shades from that line that I really, really love. And both of these are MAC Lipstick Dupes. Um, this first one that's a MAC Lipstick Dupe is in the color Beige for Good. And this is a dupe for MAC's Hug Me Lipstick. I actually don't have Max lipstick in Hug Me, but I've seen some videos on these two compared to each other, and they are very, very similar in color. And this beige for good is also very similar to the cinnamon color. I feel like this swatch is all funky on the hand, but yeah. And these last for a really long time on your lips as well. It's like the formula is very long wearing, but it's not drying. I don't know how to explain it. Then my other favorite one from this line is Perpetual P Perpetual Peony. And this is a dupe for MAC Snob. And I actually have MAC Snob lipstick and it is a dupe for it. So there they are. This is Snob over here. Perpetual Peony is right here. Man, my swatches are so awkward. I'm sorry about that. So if you want a good dupe for that, I do recommend this Perpetual Peony by Maybelline. Then... The last lip type products that I love for Maybelline are the baby lips. And I have so many shades of the baby lips, but my three favorite ones, I love Pink Punch. It's just a really light, bright kind of pink. I love Cherry Me. It just gives your lips just a pretty, like, just a popsicle lipstick look, <laughs> or I guess lip gloss look because this is more of like a balm with a little bit of tint to them they're very moisturizing the only thing with these baby lips they don't last on your lips forever forever the colors don't but they're just so easy to reapply throughout the day and like i said they're very moisturizing and then one of my other favorites from the baby lips is this color in o orange which is from their electric or neon baby lips line I love this color, so yeah. These are my three favorites from that line. My next favorite thing from Maybelline are their eyeshadows. And I love their studio eyeshadows, and I also like some of their quad eyeshadows as well. With the iStudio quads, um, most of the ones that I like are limited edition ones. I do have one, though, from the permanent line that I really like, and it's in Coral Oasis. And it just has really pretty, like, warm colors in here. And then it has this nice lime kind of chartreuse color in here. And this creates such a beautiful eye look. I do have a tutorial on this, so I'll link it down below if you're interested. But some of my other favorites that were limited edition ones, I loved the Olive Martini one. And this has a shade that's close to Max Club, which is right here. It's kind of like a duochrome type shade. I loved Cozy Cashmere. And I also really liked Taupe Tees. So all three of those were limited edition. If I can find any of those, I will link them down in the description bar for you guys. But I'm telling you, if you can get your hands on any of the ones I just showed you there, they are awesome eyeshadow quads. Another one of my favorites is the Natural Smokes. And this one is just so pretty. It has two matte shades in here. You've got this light brow bone color that's matte. And then you have this dark brown that's really matte. And this is really similar to Mystery by MAC. This other lighter color, or it's not really light, but this other color up here that's like a taupe. This is a good du dupe for MAC Satin Taupe. And then you have like this bronzy like dark brown kind of color in this little quad too that's also really really pretty and then my favorite 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 eyeshadow palette that Maybelline just came out with is the nudes and I know a lot of people have been talking about this palette recently there's been a lot of hype about it and a lot of I guess buzz going on about this palette but this palette is seriously amazing and it is so affordable I think it was like $10.99 or something like that for this palette and you get 
had to count because I couldn't remember. You have 12 eyeshadows that come in this palette. It's got a good amount of matte, satin, and shimmery colors, and they're all really pigmented. Um, they're just so, so beautiful, and I love the texture of these eyeshadows. Um, so if you have not gotten your hands on this, I do recommend it. And it is in their permanent line. I was kind of wondering if it was going to be, but it is. And I also heard from one of my other subscribers that Maybelline is going to be coming out with one that's called like the smokes and the colors. So I don't know if that's true or not, but if it is, I'm going to be so excited to get those palettes once they come out. But yeah, this is an awesome palette. I like it just as much as some of my high end palettes. Like I like it just as much as my naked palettes. And the next things that I really like from Maybelline are their mascaras. And my three favorite mascaras from Maybelline, one of them I don't currently have on me, but it's the Maybelline One by One Volume Express Mascara. That mascara just really sep separates each one of your lashes and gives them a lot of length and a lot of separation. So I really like that mascara. Another one of my favorites is the Maybelline The Falsies Flared Volume Express. I know some people don't like this one because it can give your lashes kind of a spidery look to them. But me personally, I like that look sometimes because my lashes are really kind of short and there really isn't much to them. My last favorite is the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express Mascara. I just did a first impressions on this and I'll link it down below. But... I really, really like this mascara. The day that I filmed the first impression, I didn't like it. I actually hated it. And I know a lot of you all left comments on that first impression video and said that you all didn't like this mascara either. And honestly, like I can completely understand why you don't like it at first, but really give this mascara a shot and keep using it for about a week or so. And once it starts to dry out, this mascara is awesome. I love it just as much as my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, which is my all-time favorite mascara. Then one of my other favorite products from Maybelline is the Maybelline Baby Skin. And I know earlier this year or later last year, everybody was raving about this and just really talking about it a lot, a lot of buzz about it. But this primer is seriously my favorite one from the drugstore. I've tried a lot of the L'Oreal ones, like the Miracle Blur, the Pore Vanisher, and I did not like any of those. Um, this one is so much better. It really does a good job of blurring out your pores. It's not going to make them completely vanish or anything, but it does kind of blur them out a little bit. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love this stuff and highly recommend it. Okay, the next thing that I really like from Maybelline is their Dream Bouncy Blushes. And this is actually the only shade that I have, but I really, really like this one. And I would really like to go out and purchase some more of these, but I just never really think about it because I have so many blushes in my blush collection. It has really good pigmentation. I know I've heard that some of the lighter ones don't, but this one does. It has like a really spongy, almost like Play-Doh like feel to it. It's really, really weird. Um, but the pigmentation on it is really good. Like it just has a really pretty, it's, this one's just a really pretty like coral. I don't know if I said the color. This one is in Hot Tamale and it's just a beautiful coral color. I hope my lights aren't washing it out too bad. My next favorite things are concealers and this concealer right here, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, is my all-time favorite drugstore concealer. Um, I've almost used this concealer completely up. It's getting super low. There's just something about this concealer that I really, really like. Whenever you put it, I'm wearing it today, whenever you put it on your under eyes, it just does a really good job of covering up any dark circles that you have. I don't have any problems with it creasing at all, and it lasts all day on me. I really like the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, Eraser Dark Circle Concealers. This one here is the Brightener, and it's a really unique salmon shade. It's really good for brightening up your under eye circles because of that salmon kind of color in it. So I really do enjoy this. I like the little spongy applicator on it. And then my last 
favorite Maybelline product is this new product that I picked up recently, but it is the Master Bronze by Face Studio Matte Bronzing Powder, and this is in the shade Weekend Bronze. And this bronzer, I was really kind of hesitant to get this at first because it looks really, really orange, like as you can see there. But on me, it doesn't look orange. It just really warms up my complexion really nicely. Um, if you were a really dark skin tone or if you had a really cool skin tone, this would probably end up looking really orange. Or if you were really dark, it probably wouldn't show up. But on me, I'm a really fair kind of warm skin tone. It looks really nice. So if you have that kind of skin tone, I do recommend this one. And it's just a really nice matte bronzer. I actually don't have a favorite Maybelline foundation. I used to like the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Foundation, but I don't know. I've found so many other foundations since then that I like so much better than that foundation that I just don't even purchase that one anymore. So if you all have a good Maybelline foundation that you absolutely love, let me know down in the comments because I would be curious to try some other Maybelline foundations out. So I know this video was super, super, super long. So thank you if you stayed to the very end to see what all my top Maybelline products were. And if there was a product that I didn't mention but that is your favorite from Maybelline, definitely let me know down in the comments because I would be curious to try out anything that you all recommend to me. And actually, I do remember I left out another product. Um, but the Maybelline, like their Eye Studio Gel Eyeliners, those are also really good and I really like those as well. I hope that you all did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to like it. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye, guys. Mwah.